Hey YouTube, this is very exciting. So I woke up this morning, YouTube Shorts, and they uh, had this. A resident of Andoy goes outside to film the Northern Lights when the peaceful scene literally explodes. Four balls of bright light erupt and seem to drop four glowing objects to Earth. Then, watch, just as it starts to fade, four more blow up. Is it a UFO? But these just hang there as their glowing payload falls to Earth. That's anomalous even by UFO video standards. <laughs> I've often said <laughs> that the real truth that is out there will be revealed on your mobile device, on YouTube or whatever, filmed by somebody with a mobile phone. Today, you and I just saw it. Here's the same place. Andoy, Norway. What's special about this place? A lot. Andoy, Norway isn't just some town in Norway that somebody filmed a UFO. No! <laughs> it's the site of the Norwegian and NATO and the US Air Force's most secret Norwegian base, including SR-71s. This is a log of SR-71 off-base landings. Where did they land? Andoy, Norway. So why did this ring a bell with me? What's really going on in this picture? What you're seeing here is not a UFO. It's a man-made ionospheric effect from one of the world's biggest ionospheric heaters in Norway. And this rural town in Norway isn't what it appears to be. It's actually the Norwegian base for the US Air Force and NASA from Wallop Island. And because it's Norway, and because it's NASA, they published exactly what they did back in 1979 and 1980, just a few weeks before the Rendlesham Forest incident. Now, you all know that James Warrow, Race Hobbs, and John Burroughs and I are researching what really happened at Rendlesham Forest. A lot of stuff yet to be revealed that we've discovered points towards an involvement with the ionosphere, ionospheric research, and Norway keeps coming up. You might remember I did two very interesting films, an interview with the leading Finnish ionospheric researcher from Helsinki, and a man who actually works at the Finnish and Norwegian ionospheric heater. Neither of them either knew historic data or wanted to talk about military applications for ionospheric heating, and in fact played down the fact that satellites could be deorbited by heating up our upper atmosphere. But deorbiting satellites is exactly what they were doing in Norway. And obviously that research continues to this day. And that's what this guy filmed. Look again carefully at these images of what he filmed, his UAP. First of all, a geometric pattern, a man-made pattern of lights in the sky plasma effects. But what's really interesting is what happened next. Look at this effect. Look at what's dripping, apparently, out of the plasma. What you are seeing here has been described many times by people who have encountered the highly strange. The lava-like things descending out of the glowing light. That was seen and described by the witnesses at Rendlesham Forest and the Crash Landrum case. This, I believe, and present to you today, is the evidence that we've been looking for, a military connection to ionospheric messing around. High energy physics injected into our ionosphere to weaponize the shield around our Earth, to control communication, to deorbit satellites, and to produce strange effects. I think what you are seeing in this case innocently filmed by a Norwegian bystander is the ongoing high energy physics of ionospheric weaponization. Well done for capturing it. The truth is out there.